Did you just get done filming some beautiful, sharp 4K footage and now you want to take it and make it look like it was shot in 1990? Well, you came to the right video. In this video, I'm going to teach you everything I know and everything I do to take my digital footage and give it the film look. Now, I've talked about getting the film look on this channel a lot, but this video will be the most in-depth, conclusive, easiest way to achieve that film look out of the rest of the videos that I've talked about. Stick around and make sure you wait till the end so I can show you how to do that in just a few clicks rather than having to take the very long process that this road will bring us on. That being said, let's hop in the computer and get to work. All right, first things first, let's talk about aspect ratio. Aspect ratio, what is it? It's the relativity of the horizontal to vertical axis on the video, you know, how wide is it in comparison to how tall it is. That's all it is. But the way this applies to the film look is like four by three aspect ratios versus a 16 by nine aspect ratio or a 2.35 to one aspect ratio, you know, like cinema or 1.43 to one. All of those aspect ratios that you just saw flicker on the screen change the feeling that the actual video has when you watch it back. It, it can help set the tone. So that's a huge part to me for the film look that you're trying to go for. But probably what you're all here for now is probably the most important part is, is color grading. We all know color grading is powerful. We all know that the role it plays will directly affect the feeling our audience has watching it back. I mean, if you look at Blade Runner and you see this really orange look to the scene, just one color makes you feel you know, possibly uneasy or, or nervous for the character and you feel like you're in a dark grungy world that is the effect that color can have on your video itself because that's only one color and the contrast between the one color and the rest of the scene sets the tone for the viewer and that's the whole point you want your viewer to feel something the color grading should help emulate and reflect the feeling or tone of the sequence or the video that you're making. Next up is one of my favorites and, and that's film grain. Adding some grain to your video, your digital footage like this, immediately changes the feeling from possibly digital to maybe slightly more film-like if nothing else. Film naturally has that rough texture on it and when you emulate that through film grain that you're seeing on the screen right now and you can increase it or you can decrease it, it really helps sell that this is a physical material that the video was shot on, like film is. It's a super easy and effective way to do that, and I would recommend that if you're going to do anything regarding the film look, throw some grain on there, at least give it a try. Next up, borders. What are borders? Borders are, are these things that you're seeing popping up on the screen right here. For some reason, borders, and I don't know why, make me feel that the videos are more aesthetic and possibly more film-esque, if you would. Not to say that just throwing a border makes your video look and feel like it's on film, but if you look at like a film roll, like a strip, you can see that there's a border around it and that shape that surrounds the shape of the film itself, it's kind of where the reminiscent feeling comes from, I believe, when you throw a border like these on top of digital footage like this. So if you wanna add film borders to your videos, down in the description, there's a link to my Gumroad store and I have a pack of 50-ish uh, borders that I've made. I think it's like four bucks. Another fun one is actually film burns. This isn't a thing that happens on digital cameras and that's because we don't load film into our cameras. When the process of loading film into a camera exposes like an inch or two of the film to light directly, which is not something that's good for film, by the way, in case you don't know. And that amount of light that hits it directly basically burns the film to a point where it's unusable, no detail or nothing will be captured except just a white, you know, orangish, yellowish color blob of being burnt. So the process of adding a film burn into your digital video is usually through the means of overlay. And now film burns are a perfect segue into today's sponsor, which is Motion Array. Motion Array is an online platform that has basically everything you could need for video editing and video effects. From video templates to stock footage and motion graphics, and yes, film burns, overlays, grain, all of that. Not to mention, they also have an app that goes directly on your computer that you can directly integrate the plugins that they have into the software with like two clicks and then from there you don't have to go to motion ray to get the plugin you just go to your normal effect panel and you add it in there super easy you guys might not have noticed but last week when i made a video on sound design and it had this very very specific film look to it every effect i added to it was from motion array so if you want to check out motion array and get a discount use the top link in the description you'll get 50 dollars off any annual subscription to their software Otherwise, let's get back to the video and talk about flickering and strobe effects in your film. Book. See, another underrated technique, I guess, that I've only talked about in one other video is the flickering strobe look that you have 
when you like record a screen and you have that like flicker on the screen, really all it is is just adding a strobe light effect, changing some of the values like the strobe period and the strobe duration. And then you're kind of left with this like intermittent flickering, if you would, that kind of gives that film old school video look that, you know, you can use to your advantage or, or not use if you, if you don't want to. But my point is it's another option just to kind of increase that style once again from digital to hopefully film something. And then finally, finally, we are on to everyone's favorite and the most important one to me and my favorite one, bloom inhalation. Now, I don't think I need to talk about this much more on the channel because I've made three videos on it already. But if you want to watch the video, you can click here. Outside of that, bloom inhalation, what is it? Well, halation, for those of you who don't know, is when light passes through the film on the camera, bounces off the glass, and then comes back through the film and gets another exposure However, this happens at the contrasting points of like where bright lights, like, like this point right here, where bright lights meet darker areas or high contrast, and it kind of creates an orange reddish haloing look around it. Bloom is just like the resulting glowiness of this happening. In digital, you don't get that. So we recreate it in Premiere. And the simple way to do that is to duplicate your footage, throw a Luma key and a Gaussian blur on that duplicated footage, increase the values till you get blooming around the lighting. And then you're like, wait, it's still not orange or yellow, whatever you said, what do I do then? Well, simply put, you throw an adjustment layer on top of that footage, then you add a channel blur and mess with the red channel blurriness until you get to where you like it, and then just change the blending mode and you're done. You have like that bloom awaited look and it's a, it's a nice sweet touch that really softens and helps things look super nice and soft. But that's it. There's a lot of these topics I didn't go super in depth on and that's just because I've already made videos on there. So once again, if you want to watch those videos in the description, you'll have a list that will have all those videos and all the topics in more depth for you to learn from and watch. That being said, thank you guys so much for watching the video. Be sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel or share the video if you find it helpful. And I'll see you guys next time. Thanks so much. Peace out. Cheers.